Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be talking about the future of Star Wars The Old Republic going into this fall so basically up to uh, December and there's a lot of exciting stuff to talk about but this video is going to be a very short and concise summary if you want kind of a more in-depth look at this I suggest you check out some other content creators they made some really awesome videos going really uh, in depth upon what you can expect and speculation and whatnot. But this one's going to be basically just a really short to the point summary of what uh, basically the roadmap that was just released today. So let's get right into it. There is some really exciting stuff here. The first thing is they're going to be wrapping up the summer of PvP. So basically we got a lot of really cool PvP updates in the past and that's going to end with patch 5.9.3 called Fame and Fortune. This one is going to launch mid to late September and it's going to provide us with the final 8v8 Vanden Hutball Warzone as well as uh, Jaysa, Darkside Jaysa will return and I, I do believe that's the case because that mission was actually added to the PTS server already. So that means um, you can expect to see those two things with patch 5.9.3 but what's more exciting is patch 5.10 called Jedi Under Siege. This is the new story that we're going to get in the fall and it's going to mark a return to the iconic battle between Republic versus Empire or more specifically Jedi versus Sith. And with this storyline, we're going to take a return to the ancient homeworld of the Jedi. I do believe that's Tython. And it's awesome to see a return to some of the iconic Star Wars Old Republic planets that a lot of us started off on. And it's just going to be kind of awesome to have that return to Imperial versus Republic. And with this storyline, they haven't given us many details, but you can expect to see a return to uh, separate storylines for Imperial and Republic characters and also new daily areas. So it's going to be that kind of an expansion, which is really cool. Now, it's not an expansion, so I should say game update. It's not quite as big as an expansion, but at least we're getting some, you know, cool story content. And um, they've also said we're going to see some exciting new characters introduced as well as some old and familiar faces. They did tease the... Um, that they're going to, we're going to see a powerful new Jedi veteran who is not Revan, so it's going to be cool to see them uh, tie in some lore and, and some Kotar stuff that we're kind of familiar with. Now we don't have any more details on that, but it's pretty exciting from what, I've, uh, from what I can see. Now in terms of quality of life improvements, they haven't really given us anything big. The main thing is they're going to be making a lot of improvements to guilds and basically they're going to be uh, providing us with a new progression system which is going to allow kind of guilds to customize and improve their experience. They've also said they're going to be introducing a PvP challenge system which is going to allow guilds to create a custom Warzone Arena or Galactic Starfighter match and then challenge other guilds. Uh, they're also going to improve conquests. They're going to be providing us with some other things like a member mail, so the ability to send mail to all members in a guild. Also a member ban of a legacy, which means if one person is kind of making multiple tunes and harassing you, you can just ban their entire legacy. And then some other small stuff like increasing the number of ranks you can have. Uh, so nothing too specific actually, like in terms of how this, how their new systems are going to work, but they just said they're improving guilds. Uh, another thing they're doing, they said they could you, that will notice a variety of enhancements to weapons, armor, PvP, war zones, decorations, and Galactic Starfighter. Obviously, just kind of a lot of fluff because they haven't given us any specifics upon what actually they're trying to improve. But basically, we can expect to see some things coming out a little bit later. Now, this is all going to be released in the fall. They haven't given us a specific date. They just said the fall of 2018. So, uh, you know, it can come basically at any time, but I would say manage your expectations. It's probably going to be in a two to three months. Another thing coming with Game Update 5.10 for the hardcore PvEers is they're going to get Master Mode to Gods of the Machine, which they have said is going to be some of the hardest bosses that have ever been put into the game, and they will have rewards associated with them. And uh, alongside that, we're getting a new tier of gear, which is going to be tier 5. And this is going to be craftable using new schematics. So uh, not sure how I feel about a whole new tier of gear. Still haven't quite collected all of tier 4 gear, but whatever. Um, at least it's craftable and also with the new um, difficulties of the master mode operations and whatnot, it makes sense that we're going to need some updated gear. Now, as we know, Darkside Jaysa is returning, but some of the other companions that we'll see returning are Doc and Nadia. So Nadia Grell for the Jedi Consular is Doc for the Jedi Knights. So that kind of sums up the new stuff that we can expect coming in the fall. Now, I know it's not a lot, but it, it, it's still, I think, enough to keep me interested, especially with the, the new storyline. I'm really hoping they can pull through with giving us some of those old feels, like of getting a Jedi versus Republic. I mean, Knights of the Fallen Empire and stuff kind of changed everything. I really hope they can bring that back. 
Now, beyond 2018, so going on into 2019, um, they have said that they're not you know, going to discuss any details or anything, but we are going to see the big return to Galactic Republic versus Synth Empire. Obviously, we're going to see kind of that coming in with um, the new uh, storyline about the Jedi, but you know, this is going to be kind of the big return, the new big expansion. And it's going to be kind of a full-scale war type thing on new planets. And um, they said we'll fight alongside and against many new and returning fan favorite characters. So I'm pretty darn excited for that. Sotar is going alive and well into 2019. So no need to worry about any shutdown scares. And actually, when uh, EA or Bioware or someone released a report, uh, one of the people said that 2019 was going to be the best year for Sotar yet. So while that might not necessarily be true because they might be you know, trying to sell the game or whatnot, I think it does show that this game is alive and well. And you don't need to worry about it shutting down or losing any sort of funding or anything. I mean, we can probably expect to see bigger and better battles. Um, and so I'm quite excited for that and hope you guys are as well. Let me know what you guys think about this roadmap in the comment section below. Kind of what are you most excited for? I'm definitely most excited for the story and I'm going to be really looking forward to playing that when it comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.